I'm Ben from Clive Coffee, and today we're going to show you how to set up the Maycap M4D and M7D espresso grinders. Let's get started. Always make sure your grinder is stable and on a level surface. Remove the coffee hopper pin with a flathead screwdriver. Install the hopper. Pour in a bag of your favorite whole bean coffee and turn the grinder on. For this step, set your grinder to a manual or continuous grind setting. This will help you avoid wasting precious coffee and time. To do this, tap the control disc located just above the display screen until you reach the manual setting. Important note, many grinders are shipped at a setting that is much more fine or coarse than you will need to make espresso. This means it may require several large adjustments before you are near the ideal grind size and texture. It's time to get your hands dirty. Once ground coffee is coming out of the grinder, feel the grounds with your thumb and forefinger. For espresso, we're looking for a texture that falls between table salt and flour. If the coffee looks and feels very coarse, like cornmeal or sand, you'll have to adjust the grind finer, or the shot will gush. If the coffee looks and feels overly fine, like powdered sugar, you'll have to adjust the grind coarser, or the machine may choke. Now let's program the grind time. To do this, press and hold the control disc for 10 seconds, or until the programming screen appears. Rotate the control disc to select the second dose. Press the disc once to enter the timer. Rotate the disc to adjust the time. For the M4D, we recommend starting with an 8 second grind time. For the M70, we recommend 3 seconds. To save the time, press the disc once, then rotate the disc to exit and press once. The goal is a full portafilter basket within the recommended time setting. If the ground coffee is overflowing out of your basket, adjust your grind setting finer. If there is barely any ground coffee in your basket, adjust the grind setting coarser. Out of the box, our M7D grinder required 12 full rotations of the worm drive towards coarse. Now it's time to brew. Remember that your first few shots will likely need a fair amount of adjusting, based on the shot time and volume. Start by grinding a fresh, full dose of coffee into your basket. Compress the coffee with your tamper, taking care to make sure the tamp is level and you are applying even pressure. Insert your portafilter and activate the pump on your espresso machine. Note the time of the first drips of espresso. We recommend either setting a timer or watching the display screen on your espresso machine. The first drops of espresso should drop between 6 and 10 seconds. If they fall outside of this window, we'll have to adjust the grind setting. If the shots start dripping before 6 seconds, the final espresso will likely taste sour and watery. Adjust your grind setting finer. If the shots start dripping after 10 seconds, the final espresso will likely taste overly strong and bitter. Adjust your grind setting coarser until the first drops fall in the 6 to 10 second window. Prepare your shot. Grind a fresh, full dose, tamp evenly with consistent pressure. Insert your portafilter and start your shot. This time, we are going to be watching for the full shot time. It should take between 25 and 30 seconds to produce a one and a half to two ounce espresso. If your shot falls outside of this window, you'll have to adjust your grind setting. If the shots take less than 25 seconds, the espresso will likely taste sour or thin. Adjust the grind finer. If the shot takes more than 30 seconds, the espresso will likely taste bitter or overly strong. Adjust your grind coarser. It's finally time to start tasting your espressos. Prepare and pull a fresh shot of espresso and taste. If you want your espresso to have more body, try increasing the amount of ground coffee by increasing the time on your grinder. For our test, we increased the M7D's grind time from 3 seconds to 3.4, which resulted in a fuller bodied shot of our Lovejoy blend. Alternatively, you can adjust your grind setting a little finer with half to full turn increments of your worm drive. If you want your espresso to be less sour, try adjusting your grind size finer. Alternatively, you can use a little less coffee by reducing your grind time. If your espresso tastes balanced, sweet, and full-bodied, your grinder is dialed in and ready. If you have more questions, we're here to help, and please subscribe to see our latest videos.